Hey everybody, Robinson DUP, how y'all doing? You know, I'm a big boy, and I can take my punches with the best of them, and I know when I open my mouth, especially when I state the truth. Truth hurts, man. People don't like to hear when they're getting called out on bullshit. It's just, just the way it is. So I've put up two videos. Uh, I've gotten a lot of positive feedback on those two videos, but obviously the criticized party has realized what's going on, is seeing some of the negative feedback, and is losing their minds about it. And instead of being grown men, which some of them were, mind you, some of them were, and you know who you are, and I give you all the credit in the world, um, but obviously some of you are a bunch of juvenile guys who are still in high school, um, trying to call me names, telling me I'm weak, telling me maybe I need better supplements, taking shots at, at, at other personal issues that I'm not even going to mention, is the most pathetic attempt I've ever seen to justify a horrible stance. And listen, you can try to drag me in the mud all you want, and you're not going to win. It's never going to happen. I don't need to stoop to that level because you're making yourself look bad every comment you make when you say stupid things like that. And there was one person who was making comments who was trying to justify the stance in an adult way. Fine. We agree to disagree. I can deal with that. And had brought up the argument of common sense, saying if these kids are watching these videos, it's common sense that they shouldn't be listening to this. Okay. Well, let me show you just about kids common sense and not only that but adults who don't have common sense and we keep bringing up the word common sense but if it was so common everybody would have it and we wouldn't see the stupid things that go on in this world so for instance we need, now need labels on coffee cups saying how hot it is so people don't burn themselves we need to put warnings on the back of detergent to tell people not to drink it because it's bad for them it has to be put in a manual that you can't put the car on cruise control and let go of the steering wheel because obviously people thought of that. And years ago, when I believe it was Colorado was having massive floods, they had put roadblocks saying, please do not cross the road because you will get stuck in the water, it's too deep. And on camera had these adult people move the barricades, drive into the water, get stuck, and then expect the state to come and save them. So that argument is completely null and void. But the best part is, in this society where we have these lawsuits where people need to be accountable for their actions, the one industry and some of the other people that are YouTube personalities, and there's, you know, there's a couple that put out ridiculously horrible advice, and even bodybuilding coaches or some even trainers out there, you know, they want to call themselves experts because they've read a book, uh, passed a basic certification and started training the next day, or they've competed in a few shows, um, have done no research except for me a couple Wikip Wikipedia searches, and have become experts on fitness and on supplementation. And they go on there and they state all these things as fact, when if you spent five more minutes researching on Google, you would realize half those supplements don't work. And also some of them could be dangerous to your health if not used properly, same as steroids. And we condone this behavior and we glorify the supplement industry because everybody wants the magic powder or pill, the magic bottle of beans, um, with the shiny label with the words jacked on them or super pump or this or that. And I'm not bashing any particular product, you know, diesel uh, nutrition, uh, bone, you know, shreds, fat burner, whatever. I'm just making up names. If they're even real, I don't even know. Animal, beast, mm. and it gives us the image that somehow we're hardcore by taking those supplements. We're going to get incredible gains by using them. It's like this incredible marketing illusion that everybody keeps buying into. And we haven't seemed to learn our lesson yet. There have been multiple supplements that have been sold over the counter that have been recalled by the FDA because of what's been put in them. And then we get mad at the FDA for protecting us, even though they shouldn't have ever, that supplement should have never made it to the shelf to begin with. Because if you've ever watched any documentaries, and I think it was Bigger, Faster, Stronger, or the guy who made Bigger, Faster, Stronger, showed how easy it was to create a supplement market and get it slapped on a shelf with no FDA approval. So... You know, they can be giving you pills with low doses of uh, cyanide and arsenic in it and tell you it's going to you know, help you drop pounds. Or pills filled with um, laxatives and tell you how it's going to make you lose pounds because you're going to be so busy crapping on a toilet. But that doesn't mean it's right. And there's no responsibility and there's no accountability. So when I state certain things, I state what I know is to be the proper road of precaution to take. That's why I don't do a lot of supplement reviews. That's why I won't do a lot of supplement reviews because I really don't know what's in half these containers. Now, do I use supplements? Yes, but as I've told you before, it's a very, very small amount because 
you know, they keep trying to throw all these new gimmicks at you, but in the end, it comes down to like whey protein, creatine, monohydrate, and BCAs end up being the basic stack for almost every bodybuilder you know, maybe some fish oils and multivitamin, you know. But all these other supplements are just sales pitch, sales hype, um, super high in stimulants, um, testosterone boosters that, that have ingredients in that, that prove to do jack diddly squat, um, and it's 17 years old. You don't need testosterone boosters. Your testosterone is already high, and you're, you're consuming these things with having no understanding or care for what the long-term consequences are going to be. And maybe you're okay with that. Maybe you want to be sold the illusion. I think it was Jason Blaha who said it best. There was always got to be a schmuck out there who's willing to spend his dollar to keep the economy running. You know what I mean? And if you feel like giving away all your money and buying into the hype and buying into stupidity, then go ahead. You know, but my concern is this. As a person who is relaying fitness advice, I don't claim to be an expert because I'm not. There are people out there way more qualified than me. The purpose of my channel is just to show you the journey that I'm going through, things I'm trying, things I'm exploring, and I make sure when I say certain things, I say, hey, listen, I'm doing this. This is why I think it works, but we'll see, and I'll let you know how it goes. I never say this is definitive fact. I don't tell you to go buy the new hottest supplement. I don't tell you to go buy the testosterone booster. I'm going to tell you to waste your dollars on these things because I know the majority of them are hype. And until I know for a fact that it works and I know for a fact what the consequences are going to be for taking those things, I'm not going to recommend them to anybody. I don't want to risk anybody's health. It's the same thing as I'm starting now my prep and I'm going into my dieting stage for my show. I am not going to tell you to do ridiculous things or unhealthy things to crash into a show. It will never come out of my mouth. I will never suggest any sort of extreme. I do not want to see anybody in the hospital with kidney failure, passing out backstage in a show, and or binging so bad after a show because they weren't taught how to reverse dieting that they've ended up in a hospital. I've seen that too due to poor coaching and in other instances due to the athlete just not listening properly and or certain personalities on the computer saying, oh, this is funny, this is cool, oh, these are just the sacrifices we have to make. I'm not okay with it. Maybe and I'm, maybe and I'm, maybe I'm idealistic. Maybe I'm crazy. But to sit there and attack me with the comments you were making, not the guy that I was having a normal conversation with, and we're cool, like, I'm, I have tons of respect for the person who was messaging me. Everything was cool, everything was legit, they were defending their point, but they did it in a professional way. But for the people who had the nerve to try to like take shots at me and my family and stuff like that and to take other personal shots, that is the most pathetic attempt to bully me into a corner to think that somehow I'm going to go away. Well, guess what? I'm not going anywhere. And if you don't like me, tough. Maybe you should change your message. Maybe you should smarten up. Maybe you should be an accountable adult for what you say. All right, guys. Thank you for watching. Thank you for all the support. For all you haters out there, if you don't like my channel, there's a door. Get out. Don't subscribe. Don't watch. I'm not in it for the money. I don't care. I don't. I don't need you on my page. I'm here for people who actually want to learn, whether it's guys or girls of any age, for that matter. All right, guys. Talk to you soon.